In this video, I'm exactly going to show you how to join or merge multiple audio files into one. I'm going to give you two options here, guys. Both of these methods work perfectly fine, both on Mac and PC. Let's dive right into it. The first way we can join and merge audio is by using a website called audio-joiner.com. Don't worry, you can use this website completely for free and you don't even need to register to join your audio files. And it supports all important audio formats such as MP3, WAV, M4A and even AIFF. With that said, let's see how it works. First of all, after opening up audio-joiner.com in your browser, here on the left side, click on Add Tracks. Then locate the audio files on your computer. Then click on the first audio file that you would like to upload. And then in the lower right corner of the screen, click on Open. Once it is successfully uploaded, you will then see the waveform of the audio here on your screen. Now that we have our first track uploaded, let us upload the second audio track so that we can merge them afterwards. So once again, I go to Add Tracks here, and then I locate the second audio file that I would actually like to upload. I click on it, and once again, in the lower right corner of the screen, I click on Open. And here we have our second audio track now uploaded as well. Now before we actually merge these two files, there are a couple of important things to note. First of all, here on your first track, you actually get this fade in option that you can find here in the upper left corner of your first waveform. If you click on that, your music will actually fade in very smoothly. And as you can see now, the volume now here in the very beginning is very low and gradually increases. So if you would like to fade in your first track, then you can activate that. If you don't want that, simply click on it again to disable it. Now at the end of your first audio, you also get a button like that, but this one is actually to crossfade. And what that one is doing is, it will create some sort of fade out for your first track, while at the same time fading in your second track here. So you can try that out and if you like the effect, keep it. If not, make sure that this is not activated, simply click on it to disable it. And if it is disabled, no fade out will take place here at the end of the first track. But in many cases, this is not even necessary or wanted because a lot of audio tracks, for example, if you have like regular songs and stuff like that, they will typically fade out in a nice way anyway from the get go without you having to do anything at all. Last but not least, at the end of the second track, you also have this fade out button here. So if you want to fade out the last audio, make sure this is activated. Currently, we only have two audio files. But if you have more, then it's not a problem because Audio Joiner easily supports multiple audio files. So if you have six audio clips that you would like to join together, then no problem, just go to add tracks here and add more as you wish. Please note that the fade out effect is only available for the very last audio track that you have in this list here. For the other ones at the end, you will always have this crossfade option here at the very end that you can either turn on or if you turn it off, there will be no fade out at all. So with that said, once you're ready to join or merge these audio files, all that is left for you to do is to actually decide on the format here. We have it set to MP3 because both of the files that we inserted are actually MP3s. But if you would like to change the format when we export these files, we could still do that by changing this one here from MP3 to something like maybe WAV. But if you don't want to do that, you can obviously keep the same format. And once you have decided on all of these things, simply click on join here to join and merge your audio. Shortly after you should see this window here where it says done and all that is left for you to do now is to click here on this download button. This will immediately download your merged audio file. And this was method number one to merge multiple audio files into one. Let's continue with method number two. Method number two involves using a free software called Audacity. This software is available for free both on Mac and on PC. So the first step for you would be to go to audacityteam.org and then there, click on the blue button to download the latest version of Audacity. Once the download is done, make sure to install the software. I've already done that in my case, so I'm simply going to open up Audacity now here. And once you have Audacity opened up, the next step is to import our audio. We can do that by simply dragging and dropping our audio file into this area here. So as before, I have my two MP3s here ready on my Mac. And to import them now into Audacity, I would simply drag and drop them into this area here. I click on the second file here and now I will drop that one here as well. This will work in the exact same way if you're on a PC as well. Now once your audio files are imported into Audacity, you will need to move the second audio clip here so that it only starts when our first audio track is finished. And the way we can do that is by hovering with our mouse here over the top area of the clip that we would like to move and you will then see this hand icon appearing. Once you see that, simply left click and then drag the audio to the right. 
And just like that, we can move it to the correct position here. And you should then see this yellow line, which signals to us that our second audio clip now is exactly starting when the first one is finishing. Now we need to zoom out a little bit so that we can actually see how everything looks like now. And to do that with your mouse on top here, click on this magnifying glass with a minus on it. If you do that a couple of times, depending on how long your audio files are, you should then have a nice overview of your audio clips here. If you would like to add more audio clips, then you can obviously do that. You can simply drag and drop them into this area here and then just repeat the steps that we just did to join or merge the audio. Once you've done that, you're actually ready to export your merged audio. To do so, in the upper left corner of the screen, click on File and then click on Export Audio. Under File Name, give this merged audio a name and then click on Export here in the lower right corner of the screen. And you're all done. This is how you join and merge multiple audio files into one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more audio tutorials.